there has been an enormous failure by the big banks to reach consumers all across the country. Talk about the people, the millions of people who are unbanked or underbanked, who are paying um, uh, way too much just to be able to have their paychecks cashed or to be able to pay their utility bills and their rents, just to try to get a little edge into the financial system because they don't have standard checking accounts. Digital currency and central bank digital currency may be an answer there because the costs are extraordinarily low for being able to transact. Now, she also used the term snake oil uh, when talking about the cryptocurrency market as well. So joining us now is Voyager Digital CEO and co-founder Steve Ehrlich. Steve, thanks for being with us today. I want to get your response to Senator Warren and in general this hearing that we saw yesterday and some of the commentary that came out from lawmakers who do still remain so skeptical uh, about this asset class. Well, thanks for having me. And uh, she's spot on. Consumers want this. And, you know, her constituents that are millennials, Gen Z, Gen X, people want this because they need this from the banking perspective. It is a more efficient banking. That's, that's the one piece she's actually got right, is that the consumers actually want cryptocurrencies. And I think that's where this is developing from is from there. Yeah, I mean, but not all cryptocurrencies are created equal, right? And she just talked about central bank digital currencies. We certainly see stable coins in focus, especially given the investigations going on at Tether. And then, of course, there are uh, bit, there is Bitcoin and Ether and some of the other names that we talk about so regularly uh, on CNBC as well. How, how do you break down those differences and what that could mean in terms of potential regulation, since the devil will be in the details? Yeah, thoughtful regulation would be welcomed by the industry. Uh, I think you have some today with the Know Your Customer and anti-money laundering rules in place. And yes, I mean, some of those other cryptocurrencies, they're in the early stages as well. They're less than five years old for most of those currencies, Cardano, Polkadot. They're helping make the system better and making all financial services better. So thoughtful regulation by our government will be welcomed by those of us that are especially public companies like Voyager and Coinbase. Yeah, so as a trading platform, what do you make of the recent price action we have seen in the likes of Bitcoin? I mean, there, were, there was a lot of uh, pointing to that questionably sourced report about Amazon looking into cryptocurrencies potentially before the end of this year, which was since batted down. But in general, the fact that we've been hovering around 40K, just above, just below right now, uh, what would you chalk that up to? Look, I think we've seen it grow about 30% in the last month or so, last few weeks, actually, the price of Bitcoin. We've seen some really positive news, institutional adoption. The credit card uh, processors, MasterCard and Visa, are both coming out with crypto USDC products and showing that there's a lot of people that want to use the payment rails with cryptocurrency, all positive for cryptocurrency. We still have a lot more news coming in front of us. I think more adoption, more retail consumers coming in, more use through debit cards, et cetera. So there's, I believe that's the, the reason why we've increased is all this new adoption. You just touched on it, but given the fact that we do have Robinhood going public tomorrow and 17% of revenue is cryptocurrency, you have the founders talking about uh, introduction of crypto wallet as well. How closely are you watching that? And what does it mean not only for your company, but for trading activity and interest in the, in, in the industry overall? Yeah, we're excited to see Robinhood go public. Another company that has crypto that joins, you know, joins us. We were the first to actually be public uh, with a cryptocurrency company up in the, in the Canadian markets uh, with the Toronto Venture Exchange. We think it's really exciting for the industry because, again, it will speed up adoption. Uh, we're accelerating. The adoption of cryptocurrency is actually accelerating and going faster than the adoption of the Internet. So uh, someone like Robinhood coming public will just help all of us, you know, grow the business and grow the ecosystem. Uh, it's been an interesting week regarding Bitcoin and Amazon. We had that report that Amazon later pushed back on. But I do wonder, theoretically, if Amazon were to say, yeah, uh, directionally, we're definitely thinking about that. What, what do you think that would do for the price action? Again, I think that's a, that's a positive step for, for cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, all the cryptocurrencies. You know, the payment side of this is getting better, more efficient, more people coming in. We're using our systems now for payment. That's where this is all going. And then you have all the other product, you know, projects, like I mentioned, with the alternative coins that are helping other parts of the financial system become more efficient. It's a major step when you have someone who, you know, even thinking about it and going in that direction. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.